Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything. Channelize Try Anything, so you don't have to. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Casio F91W. So to start things off, the actual display of the Casio, it is simple in its um, kind of layout, as it were, and it should be quite easy to understand, I hope. So starting from the top left, what you get is two indicators here. Now on the left hand indicator, you've got daily alarm activation. And that shows you that the daily alarm is live and active, and it will go off once a day at the time that you set the daily alarm at. Um, that, these are easily turned off and onable, and I will show you how to do that within the alarm mode. The one to the right of it, which is the bell symbol, that is the hourly chime. And what that means is on every hour on the hour, this will chime to say that an hour, hour has elapsed. To the right of that, you have got the day of the week. To the extreme right of that, you have got a, the date within the month. Now, just underneath that, you will notice it does say 24H. Now, that will go between 24H or PM. So it will change depending on you know your, whether you're doing it in 12-hour mode or 24-hour mode. And this obviously will show that throughout the watch. So if you are looking at... Um, the alarm, not throughout the watch, more on the alarm mode, then at least you know you're amending the alarm mode in 24 hours as opposed to 12. So, you know, it's very easy to operate, and I'll just quickly show you what I'd press to put you into 12 hour mode. Underneath that, you'll get the hour. To the right of that, you'll get the minute within the hour, and then obviously the seconds with that make up the minutes. So, as I say, a very easy watch to understand. The actual pushers, this one's the light one on the timekeeping mode. This one will allow you to operate the modes and also will change certain variables as you as and when you change the functions on the watch. And this one here will allow you to change between 12 and 24 hour, which I'll show you right now. So 12 and 24 hour is easily operated. So currently it's in 24 hours with it being 2 p 2.09 p.m. today. Um, if I press it again, you can see it is in the 12 hour mode if it's easy for people to read that time. Um, it will show you a PM. If it's AM, it won't show you anything. But in PM, uh, if it's in the afternoon or post 12 o'clock uh, noon, it will show you PM. But if I go back to 12 hour, again, you will see it saying 1400 hours. So we'll go back to PM just to make it easy. In terms of this pusher here, what this pusher does uh, allow you to activate is the actual LED light. Now, on the Casio F91W, it's not brilliant. And what I'll do, I'll uh, show you in a little clip here, is what the light's like when you are using it in dark, in kind of darkness or semi-darkness, and you'll see how effective the actual LED backlight is. Not the best, but it does give you an idea of what the time is in darkness. So moving back over, um, the next uh, function to show you or to show you how to work on the Casio F91W is the alarm. Now, first of all, what I'm going to show you is how to turn the daily alarm and hourly signal off. And that is easily done by pressing the 12, 24 hour. And it does actually say here that you can turn, you know, it does indicate here what these pushes do actually do. So to turn the alarm off, it's easily done like that. Uh, to turn it on, if you want just the alarm on, you press it once. To turn the just the hourly signal on, you press it again. And if you want both of them on, you press it one more time there. And as you can see, the icons do show you that you've got the daily alarm active and the hourly alarm active. So I'm going to turn it off in this instance. If you want to hear the alarm, you just keep your finger pressed on this button here for 30 seconds. Oh, sorry, for a few seconds. So that's just to give you an idea of the sound of the alarm and how to test it. So I'll turn that back off. Now to adjust the time within uh, the actual alarm mode, you keep your finger on that button there. And as you can see straight away, the daily alarm icon is active just to say that once you set the time, the daily alarm is set and ready to, uh, as it were, beep at a certain time. So to uh, amend the time, so if I wanted it say um, half nine in the morning, or say, let's say three, um, half three in the afternoon when you're gonna get your children and stuff like that. So you just press this button here, but if you wanna accelerate the time, you keep your finger down, and that will accelerate the actual value of the actual time that you're looking to amend. To actually move the actual adjustment on to the next one, you press light, the light button again, and that will allow you to amend the minutes on the actual time. So if you wanted to do, say, 3.20 or 3.15, uh, when you're looking to go and pick your children up from school, then it's as easy as that, and you just press it for one minute increments. And then you just press mode, and that will take you back to the main screen. And there you go. Um, or you, I think, um, yeah, you just press mode and that will take you back to the screen. And it's as easy as that. Um, you know, obviously this is in 12 hour mode. If it was in 24 hour mode, it will show that as 15, 15 
uh, 100 hours so there you go the next one to show you is the stopwatch i'll just quickly turn that alarm off because i don't want it going off at 315. um now the stopwatch is easy accessible by that and what you'll notice it changes to st as opposed to al indicating you are in the stopwatch mode to activate the stopwatch it's as easy as pressing this bottom button bottom right hand button here and that will show you the that will measure elapsed time so i'll just let it go up a little bit so stop it again and then what it will do you obviously you're stopping the elapsed time and you just press this to clear it there easy as that this will measure up to 59 minutes and 59 seconds and it does it within a hundredth of a second so that's just an indication to do split time just press this the bottom right hand button start the stopwatch and let's just let it advance a little bit and then press the top right there sorry top left button for a lap time and that will give you an idea of the lap times you know like a, a split lap or anything like that and you notice that these are flashing here the little time indicators there that's just to show you that this stopwatch is still currently running even though you fro froze the actual time to indicate a lap time so to release the lap time so to show you the stopwatch is still running and there you go it's as easy as that and then what you then do is press that to stop the stopwatch press that to reset the time and also this as i say it will give you an indication of first and second time so start the stopwatch let it just go on a little bit there and for the first say if you had two runners running in a race and you wanted to get their time so if the first runner went through the uh, finish line you just press that button there and even though it is a lap time and the, obviously the stopwatch is still running that's the first runners finishing time in essence if you want to see the second runners uh, finishing time you press stop on the stopwatch and then you press lap again and then that will give you a, a indication of a second finish as it were and there you go and then just to clear that off it's as easy as that the final um, function of this watch is timekeeping mode or the actual mode in which you change the date and time of the Casio F91W now in this instance what you do if you want to reset the seconds what you'll notice is that it was over 30 seconds if it is over 30 seconds that you're looking to reset it will advance that by one minute but if you're just looking to just reset the seconds make sure it's under the actual 30 seconds and then that will reset it without affecting the minutes to move on to the hour all you do is press the light button there and then just advance it um just advance it as such so let's say it's uh i've gone past it but let's uh, just keep my finger on the button there Ooh gone past it again so it's 11 15 so to move it on to the date this is the date the uh, month so it's as easy as that and then move it on to the actual date within the month again it takes it over to the ninth over there and the day if you want to amend the day again you just keep pressing this button or press this button to adjust them and it's as easy as that and then you just press mode to clear it and that's it really that's the casio f91w in a semi nutshell really i mean i'm sure there's a few other functions that i may have missed but i have linked to the instructions below but hopefully this video will give you an idea about how to use this iconic watch from casio hope you like the instructional video there if you did click on the like button below it always helps the channel if you want to see more instructional videos more videos we get casio watches and watches in general and other products gleaned or reviewed on the we try anything channel then please click on the script subscription button below that also helps the channel and thank you for watching this instructional guide and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye